What's up guys, it's Dark Arm Duelist and today I'm going to be doing some Blue Eyes White Dragon test hand. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck summons out one of the most nostalgic monsters in the entire game. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name in the description of any single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your patron. So without further ado... Let's get straight on into this. So this build is a super fun build of Blue Eyes. It's basically a focusing around using the effect of Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon to be able to recover your traps over and over again, which is just such a cool boss monster. This deck is really fun to be able to play, and I really enjoy this build to be able to just control the board with all sorts of traps. With your copy of your Tyrant Dragon, you can basically have infinite solemn judgments, which is just really cool about this deck, and it's a really fun deck to play. But you guys know it's dad rule number one. You gotta pile shuffle the deck or you run the risk of breaking and we don't want to brick with this deck because blue eyes does brick a little bit but it's still really consistent because even if you do brick you're going to have powerful floodgates to be able to activate against the opponent and we have a bunch of one card starters in this deck which is really cool so let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do for our first test hand so we're going to go ahead and draw into a copy of true light dragon shrine a copy of Branded Fusion, we're already online, Blue Eyes White Dragon, the classic artwork, and another Blue Eyes White Dragon. So we don't see that many traps, but that's okay. We still have plenty of plays to set up. So right off the bat, you do have the copy of the Dragon Shrine, and this is one of the most powerful cards in the entire deck because it actually lets you send a normal dragon and a copy of another dragon from your deck to the graveyard. You send a normal dragon first. So we're going to go ahead and send a Blue Eyes White Dragon. It turns into a double Foolish Burial, which is really cool. And the card that I usually send behind it is the White Stone of Ancients if I don't have the copy of the Jet Dragon in the hand. So at this point, we're just going to shuffle up the deck. And once we do, these are going to go to the grave. And during the end phase, the White Stone of Ancients is going to go off. You can send Jet Dragon instead because we do have the Branded Fusion. But since we do have the copy of the White Stone of Ancients in the deck, we and we have the Branded Fusion in the hand, we can just keep going. It doesn't matter. You can interchange out the copy of White Stone of Ancients and Jet Dragon. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and activate Branded Fusion. And we're going to go ahead and send a copy of Fallen of All Baths and a copy of our Jet Dragon from our deck to the graveyard. This is so we can summon out our copy of our Albion that requires a Light Monster plus a Fallen of All Baths, which is just really neat to be able to summon it to our side of the field. He's not going to stay very long because he's going to send these to the grave, and once he does, we're going to go ahead and activate the effect of Albion to be able to banish itself plus the Fallen of All Baths on our side of the field to make a Mirror Jade. So once we make the copy of Mirror Jade on our side of the field, we're just going to immediately throw that copy of Mirror Jade. And once we do, we can set to our side of the field our copy of our True Light and pass. And at end phase, the effect of the White Stone of Ancients goes off and actually lets us special summon out a Jet Dragon directly from our deck. So it lets us special summon any Blue Eyes monster to our side of the field, which is just such a cool effect. It has the really awesome effect that if this card, uh, during the end phase of this card, was in your graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can special summon a Blue Eyes monster from your deck, which is just such a cool effect to instantly get your copy of Jet Dragon on the field. So at this point, we're going to shuffle up the deck. This is one of the best fields that you can actually establish. The only thing that would make it better is if these were two Floodgates instead, like a Summon Limit and a copy of Skill Drain. But still, even then with the double Blue Eyes in the hand, you can still pull off some really cool plays. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and activate True Light on our side of the field. And once you activate your copy of True Light on the field during your opponent's turn, we're going to go ahead and set a really powerful card on the field. We're going to actually set onto our side of the field our copy of Ultimate fusion this is really neat so i'm going to show you guys a really fun play so we're going to go ahead and shuffle up the deck and once we do shuffle up the deck we're going to go ahead and just set this card to our side of the field and once we do you have the effect of the mirror jade that can banish a card on your opponent's side of the field by sending albion from your deck to the grave or extra deck to the grave and once you do that you can actually go in for some really crazy plays because this is going to just get you into some really insane plays. I love that about this deck. You can also send Alba Lanitas if you want to send Alba Lanitas as well. That if this card's in the graveyard because it was sent through this turn, you can add a Polymerization, Normal Spell, or a Fusion Normal Spell from your deck to your hand. So we're actually going to send that to the graveyard instead. Let's send the Alba Lanitas instead. 
because it's going to get us more plays, especially if our opponent's not playing dragons. I love that about this card that it just has that really cool effect that once we're turned during the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, then you can add a polymerization normal spell or a normal fusion spell from your deck to your hand, which can be the branded fusion. So we can go for Albion again. That's why I like to send that instead of the copy of the second Albion from our extract to the grave. So at this point, we're going to let our opponent go. They're probably not going to out this board, and they're going to go ahead and pass over to us. And once they pass over to us, we're actually not going to draw. We're going to activate the effect of our Alba Leninus in the graveyard and add a branded fusion from our deck to our hand. So at this point, we're going to shuffle up the deck. And what's really cool about this is we have three blue eyes in play. I see three blue eyes. I don't know about you guys. But at this point, we can actually activate ultimate fusion and we can put these two blue eyes in our hand into it and the third blue eyes using all three of the og blue eyes to be able to make blue eyes alternative ultimate dragon you can play any blue eyes you want any of the blue eyes ultimate fusions that you want to be able to make this it does temporarily turn your copy of jet dragon off which is a little bit of a downside but it's fine we're going to be able to turn it back on just a second so we're actually going to be able to summon out Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate. So we just immediately get Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate on our side of the field, which is just really, really cool. And then we can actually activate Branded Fusion. And once we activate Branded Fusion, you're going to send a Blue Eyes and a copy of Fallen of All Baz directly from your deck to the graveyard. And once you send those two to the graveyard, we're going to summon out an Albion again, which is just going to help you out a lot because we're going to make a really cool play. So we're going to go ahead and send these to the graveyard. And once you do send those to the graveyard, we're going to summon out Albion to our side of the field. And then the effect of Albion goes off and we're going to pick a really cool fusion. You cannot make another Mirror Jade because you can only control one Mirror Jade, but you can make Tyrant Dragon, which is really neat. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and banish the Blue Eyes and our copy of our Fallen of All Baz to be able to special summon out Tyrant Dragon, and you get a field like this. This card is turned off because you do not have a blue eyes on the field or in the grave, so we're actually going to banish these from the grave, and you get a field like this. This is why I love this deck. You can get some really insane fields like this, and it's really fun. And the copy of the uh, Mirror Jade will be turned on during your opponent's turn, but you're not going to make it to that. You're just going to OTK them with this field, and it's really really cool you also have the copy of the true light that can go off as well which is going to actually set a bingo machine go to your side of the field and then you can actually activate the bingo machine go and reveal three cards which can be a copy of blue eyes another copy of blue eyes and say a copy of let's do maybe ultimate creature of destruction and then you can add one of these to your hand that your opponent's going to randomly pick, which is really cool because it doesn't really matter which one we're going to get because you're just going to have those cards in your hand to be able to special summon a blue eyes white dragon later. If you make this in the extra monster zone, you can actually use true light later to bring out one of these blue eyes from your hand if it makes it that far, which it's probably not going to. So let's go ahead and do another test hand just to show you guys what this deck can do. It's really fun. It's really like insane. You can make crazy boards like that. That's just basically big dragon go. Um, I do play evenly matched in the main. You can side those out if you want to and play other floodgates, which is a really awesome option if you want to. I like them in this deck because if you lose the die roll and you go first, uh, or if you go second and you lose die roll, you still have the evenly matched already loaded in the main, which is really cool. I really like that about this deck and it's really fun to be able to play. So let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do for the next test hand. Hopefully we don't brick. It does happen every so often with blue eyes. You guys know uh, the brick eyes white dragon. It does happen every so often. So let's go ahead and shuffle it up. Or blue eyes brick dragon. <laughs> let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do for our next one. So we're going to go ahead and draw. Solemn Judgment right off the bat. We can get Infinite Solemn Judgment, so it was really cool. The White Stone of Ancients, we're going to be okay. Another Solemn Judgment, we say no twice. Evenly matches what I was talking about. It's not great going first, but it's really good going second. And a True Light. So if you are going second, you do have the evenly match. I'm just going to show you guys what you would draw. This is a very good going first hand, but I'm just going to show you guys what you get if you're going second. You would get Brand of Fusion, which would even further the plays. But with a hand like this, you can still do some pretty crazy stuff. So at this point, we're just going to normal summon out the copy of the White Stone of Ancients, and we're just going to link it away. Very simple play. That's what's really cool. This deck would be really good for somebody who's just starting to play, which is really neat because there's not a whole lot of combo. It's just basically set traps and go. Um, we're going to activate the effect of the White Stone of Ancients. White Stone of Ancients is going to go off during the end phase, and we're going to be able to actually activate its effect, but we're not in end phase yet. So we're just going to go ahead and set the copy of the True Light and set both of these cards 
face down, which is two solemn judgments. Hold the evenly matched in your hand. You can set it. I don't think you need to, but you can go ahead and just keep it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and activate the White Stone of Ancients effect during the end phase. And I'm actually going to summon out a copy of the original Blue Eyes because the Jet Dragon is going to be turned off. You can summon Jet Dragon if you want to. Jet Dragon's a pretty good option. Let's just go ahead and summon Jet Dragon. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and put it on our side of the field. Its summon effect is turned off, which is a little bit of a downside, but it's okay. We can actually get to more plays in a second. So at this point, our opponent's going to go. You have two I Said No's which is really cool to be able to just activate both of these and to stop basically an attack. And then you also have True Light, which can set you a spell or trap that mentions blue eyes in the text from the deck to the hand or deck to field, which we're actually going to set Bingo Machine. Bingo Machine is just going to help you out to get a blue eyes directly from your deck to your hand on the follow-up turn, which is going to be super helpful. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle it up. And once we do, hopefully we don't draw into another copy of blue eyes. Uh, because we actually want to be able to search Blue Eyes. So we're going to go ahead and draw into a Skill Drain, which is insane. We can flip the copy of Bingo Machine. We're going to reveal three Blue Eyes White Dragons, because we have three in the deck. So we're going to go one, two, and the third one is right probably on top. Yep, right there. We're going to reveal all three of these Blue Eyes and go pick one. We actually add the Blue Eyes to him. You can then flip. Excuse me, that True Light would actually be face up. You can actually flip the True Light. Because uh, it was already face up because you've set the bingo machine go during your opponent's turn. And then we're going to special summon out the copy of Blue Eyes White Dragon off the effect of our True Light. And then you can set the skill drain and then just attack with this field, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and go into the next turn or next um, test hand, which is just really neat. You're, st you're establishing some really insane field presence with the deck, which is just really good with all of the back row, which is just really neat. I love that about this deck. That it's just really easy to establish that back row. And you can even use Brand Diffusion to go in for your Tyrant Dragon by making like Albion first or Lubellion first and putting the materials back or banishing them and then make a Tyrant Dragon. So you have really good access to your copies of your Tyrant Dragon if you start getting traps in the grave or you need to go in for game because it can attack all monsters your opponent controls. So we're going to go ahead and draw. We're going to draw into a copy of Solemn Judgment, a copy of True Light, a copy of Brand Diffusion we're already turned on, a copy of a Blue Eyes Jet, and a copy of Dragon Shrine. This is really good. Okay, so we're going to activate the effect of our Dragon Shrine right here, and we're going to go ahead and send a Blue Eyes and a copy of the White Stone from the deck to the grave to be able to just get those cards in the grave. So White Stone goes off during end phase. We're then going to Branded Fusion, just like we kind of did before. This is kind of what I wanted in the first hand, uh, where it wasn't two Blue Eyes in the hand. Um, so we're going to go ahead and send a Fallen of All Baz and a copy of, we already got a Blue Eyes in the grave. So probably a copy of Jet Dragon, just to get it in the grave. We already have the one in the hand, but we want to be able to roll through the Jet Dragons. Because if one gets destroyed, you special summon another one, um, which is really cool. So we're going to go ahead and send these to the graveyard. And once you do, you're going to summon out Albion, just like you did before. And we're actually going to banish the Fallen of All Baz and the Albion to be able to make a copy of Mirror Jade. So now we have a Mirror Jade on the field. This is one of the best fields you can establish. Only thing that would make it better is if that True Light was like a... Um, if it was like a copy of um, uh, Skill Drain. That would be really cool. So at this point, you're going to go ahead and set these two to your side of the field. The Jet Dragon will just stay in the hand. And then during end phase, the effect of our White Stone goes off. And we actually put on our side of the field a copy of another Jet Dragon, which is going to start rolling. We have one in the hand, one in the grave, and one in the uh, field, which is really cool that we have all three of them in play. I love Jet Dragon. Um, it's it's my probably my favorite Blue Eyes card in the game. It's really just a meme, and I love it. It's just really cool. So at this point, you do have the effect of the Mirror Jade during the opponent's turn to be able to activate Avalanitas, which you can send to the graveyard. And then during their end phase, you'll actually be able to get a grab. And plus, you do have True Light as well. And True Light will actually set a spell or trap that mentions Blue Eyes directly from your deck to your side of the field. So you can set something really powerful, like the Ultimate Creature of Destruction, which is going to get you a lot of protection for Blue Eyes, which is really neat. You can also, if you want to, set Ultimate Fusion, which is another card that I really like to put on my side of the field. And it really helps, because it helps you go into the battle phase. Usually it's the card that I do grab off of this play, because you're going to get more fusion plays with your blue eyes card so if something does get destroyed your effect of your jet dragon can go off and you can revive the jet dragon from the grave which is really neat just to be able to put your copy of jet dragon on your side of the field if something gets destroyed then we're going to go into the next turn and we're going to draw 
And we're actually going to, before we draw, it's very easy to forget, but the Albolinitas goes off and you grab the copy of the brand of Fusion. It's very easy to forget. So we're gonna go ahead and shuffle it up. And once we do, we're gonna go ahead and draw. So now we're drawing into a Prosperity. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and activate, let's see. We're gonna go ahead, do we wanna go in for the brand Fusion? We do have a way to get another blue eyes in the grave. Let's go ahead and branded Fusion. We're gonna go ahead and branded Fusion send a copy of Blue Eyes White Dragon and a copy of Fallen of All Baths to the grave, make a copy of our Albion, and then we're going to banish from the graveyard our copy of a Blue Eyes and a copy of the Albion from the grave, or not the Fallen of All Baths. Let's, let's actually banish the Albolanitas. Let's banish that. We don't really need it. We're going to banish those two from the grave, and we're going to summon a copy of Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon up here, and then we also have the Ultimate Fusion set, which we can fuse back two cards to be able to make a second copy of our Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon if you want to. Not really necessary, because you have this field. You don't even really need the Prosperity. <laughs> you really don't, because at this point, you pretty much just have everything. You have a way to stop your opponent. You have the Ultimate Fusion to make another monster if you need to go in. You have Double Jet Dragon. You have your uh, Albion. You have Mirror Jade. You have Tyrant Dragon. This is going to destroy everything on the field. It's a monster because it's just going to go through 3,400. And then you basically just clean up the game with the rest of these. You don't want to make your opponent take half damage, so you activate that. But it's still pretty good because if you did, you'd activate, you get a Brand Infusion. You get this. Skill Drain. If you're going to like go in deeper into the game yeah it's good but right now it's just not necessary like you've already won it's a win more card at that point so that is blue eyes let's go ahead and shuffle up one last test hand and see what we can do for one last test hand see if we can draw some really insane stuff we've gone three for three can we go four for four let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do make sure i don't have any extra monsters in the main deck okay so we're gonna go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do again. Pile shuffling would be optimal, but we're just gonna shuffle it up just to show you guys in between duels what would actually happen, just in case you forgot to pile shuffle. So let's go ahead and just see what we can get. So we're just gonna shuffle it up and we're gonna see what we can do. So we're gonna go ahead and draw. We're gonna get a white stone, already, already great play. A copy of Evenly, a little bit of a downside. Alternative white, that's a first. Uh, Lord of the Heavenly Prison, and a copy of Solemn Judgment. So not crazy. We do have a negate, and we do have a way to get our copy of Jet Dragon on the field, which is really cool. So we're going to normal summon out this, activate the effect, link it away, make our copy of our Link Karibo, set a copy of Solemn Judgment, reveal the copy of the Lord of Heavenly Prison in the hand, and once we do, we're going to end phase Whitestone and special summon from our deck a Jet Dragon. I usually like to just summon out the Jet Dragon to my side of the field because it's not that big of a deal to get to a Blue Eyes, but it's still pretty cool. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and let our opponent go. This is revealed, so we're protecting the Solemn Judgment. You can use this card pretty much as a negate whenever, which is really neat. And your copy of Lord of the Heavenly Prison is on the field as well. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and draw into the next turn, and we're gonna draw into a Fallen of All Baths. If our opponent put anything on the field, we can just normal summon the Fallen of All Baths, get rid of the copy of the Blue Eyes, in the hand to be able to fusion summon, use a monster that our opponent controls, go in for something like a Mirror Jade if our opponent has a monster special from the extra deck, and then you can just go in for plays, which is really cool. Not the craziest hand, probably the weakest hand of all the hands that we've gotten, but still pretty good, because you do have the even link. So if your opponent does say board wipe you, let's just say they did board wipe you, you actually do have the even link that you can go, okay, battle phase, Activate evenly. You're going to keep a monster special summon from the extra deck on the field. Cool. We're going to normal summon Fallen of All Baths. We're going to ditch this from the hand. And once we do, during main two, we're going to go ahead and fuse your monster way and our, the uh, monster that uh, we have. And we're going to make a Mirror Jade if it's special summon from the extra deck. If it's a light, we can make the copy of Albion. If it's a dark, we make the Lubellion. And when you just go from there, you can make Mirror Jade. And if a card is activated, you can activate the copy of Lord of the Heavenly Prison. If a set card or spell trap is activated, which is really cool, so you can just immediately throw the Lord of the Heavenly Prison and get something like a Bingo Machine. Usually I like to get Bingo Machine with this card because it's going to get me a triple search or uh, be able to reveal three and then add a card, which is going to get you a single search, but reveal three, which is really cool. So that's pretty much it for the test hands, guys, for Blue Eyes White Dragon. This deck is just super fun to be able to play. It's really insane all the different combos that you can pull off. As you guys can see, even with it being a trap deck, 
you can still swarm and it's just really fun to be able to play. I really love this deck. It's really fun. I've even carried it to locals and gotten second place with it, which is just really fun and really insane how easy it is to make these really cool boards because you can just establish multiple solemn judgments and just say no. So anyways, guys, it's Dark Rome Newell, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, never seen come part of the notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.